Hey everybody, thank you everybody for joining. We're gonna give you a daily dose of positivity and I have my sister from another who is in London who is going to join us and she is going to join us here in a second and we're gonna just send you guys some positive vibes because we know right now this world needs a lot of that. Hi, hey, girl. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, come in lahi. Yeah, it's a book, it's a book, come in lahi. <laughs> It's a green yaw for all of yeah. you. In. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a daily dose of positivity. We just want to extend some positive vibes, extend a positive message. Ruthie is in London. She is a mental health awareness advocate. Can you go ahead and just give like a quick intro so everybody tuning in can know a little bit about you? Yeah, so sure. So um, um, I'm uh, born and raised in Stockholm, lived in London for a long time. I still, sp I still go between London and Stockholm a lot. Um, and I am passionate about self-development, so I'm passionate about well-being. And I started an account called Airy Wellbeing, or co-founded an account called Airy Wellbeing with my friend Mikal, which is dedicated to raising mental health awareness within like black and brown communities in general. Obviously, uh, Mikal and I are like first generation Airtrains, so we speak from our experience as children of immigrants but in general we're just really dedicated to broadening the conversation about like mental health well-being and, and and awareness within our communities and then on a professional side I my day job I work with digital media but I'm also have a leg in coaching in terms of like self-development you are really everywhere and I commend the work that you're doing I got to see firsthand how it's impacting people really across the globe thanks to social media and virtual services so we really commend you with that Right now, more than ever, we definitely need to focus on our health, right? Whether it's physical or mental health. And I've seen in your stories, you're spending a lot of time outside. You're making sure you're getting, you know, so talk about some things that we can do right now to really make sure we are, you know, taking care of our well-being and mental health. Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely important for everybody. And I feel like this situation kind of crept up on a lot of us. So even for me, who I'm a person, I have very established like um, eating um, habits, exercise habits, mindfulness habits. But even me, I, I, I realized that I got caught off like and spending a couple of days at home. I was like overeating. Mm -hmm not really wanting to go and see my parents because I was like, what if I have it and I give it to them? They're in the risk zone and so on. So I really had to like re-center myself today and focusing on like upholding my healthy habits that I had prior, prior to, you know, um, the coronavirus outbreak and the whole self-distancing thing. So I would really recommend people to just like stick to your healthy habits. And if for some reason, you don't feel like you have them established. This is a good time to give it a go, you know? So think yeah. about what you're eating, like simple stuff, like drink enough water, make sure that you're getting two liters of water in so you stay hydrated. Eat like high vibrational, like living foods, fruits and vegetables, you know? Stay off the processed foods, the sugar and stuff like that. And try to like do uh, some type of mindfulness exercise, maybe spend five minutes meditating or just sitting in silence. Um, I think it's just important to kind of come back to these as almost like rituals on a on a daily basis to give space to these things because everything around us is like kind of uncertain right now. So I think it's important for all of us to try to build some uh, temporary certainty within our like routines. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I love it. It's like it's like. I, I think um, at first, you know, I wasn't really practicing that. I went, just confession here, I went and bought, like, y'all know the family size bags of chips, like, and in, like, two and a half days, it was gone. And yeah. I ate a big bag of Lay's potato chips. And then, like, by day three, I was like, okay, no. I'm staying away from the chips right now. Just because we are at home, I mean, we really can take steps to make sure we're taking care of ourselves. And like you said, making good choices, you know, because it's yeah. something said than done but we can we can try our best right now since we are in the houses yeah and I just want to call it I feel like that's a way even for me in my own reflection that's a way of like comforting myself like you know as I was grabbing like all these like high like calorie foods I was like oh that was a way to just comfort myself but long term that's not going to make me feel good so I need to like back back into like how I'm going to feel like long term by just making like slightly better um decisions yeah yeah and that there's a balance there's a balance <laughs> yeah um, and then I, I want to hit back on Airy Wellbeing as well. I know you do a lot of advocacy work with them. And you're also doing a longer live video on Sunday with your cousin. Talk yeah. a little bit about that or maybe if anybody that's tuning in, if you want to just get a fuller, longer um, version of this, uh, more on mental health. 
what can you tell us? For sure. So I'm teaming up with my cousin. Her name is Hannah Tedros. She lives in Paris. Um, Great. Great she's an artist amongst many, many different things and um, a, a business partner of mine, actually. So on Sunday, we're going to do a mental health check-in. So we've set it for 5 p.m. Um, Central European time. So that should be 12 noon Eastern time. So we wanted to make sure that some of our you know, U.S. friends could join as well. So it's generally just like a check-in. We want to create some space for people to be able to just like talk to each other, share what's going on, share their feelings to create a safe space for us to just like share what we're going through. Because I'm sure it's a lot. We don't know how long this is going to take, how long we're going to need to self-distance and so on. So we got to lean on each other, really. So that's what that conversation is going to be about. So Sunday, 5 p.m., you can, um, I'll, I'll probably promote it on my page tomorrow. So 5 p.m. Central European time, 12 noon Eastern time. Okay, so make sure if you all are interested, she's going to have more information on her page. And you'll be able to see uh, little snippets of this. Um, you can go on the Promote Positivity Movement page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, moments of this conversation and put it into a daily dose of positivity for you all. But of course, we want to jump into that. We want to end strong here. Any words of encouragement, positive vibes, positivity you can share with us right now to anybody listening, whether they are in, in your town, my town, or any other town? First of all, I just want to say thank you for inviting me and for like doing this because I feel more positive just a few minutes after talking to you. So this is great. <laughs> you are uh, yeah, you are a ray of sunshine. So um, I appreciate you. Um, I think there's never been a better time for us to exercise self-leadership. That's something that I talk about a lot, essentially like how we manage ourselves. This is a crucial moment where we need to learn how to manage ourselves, our energies, where our thoughts are going, um, uh, our compassion and empathy. You know, I think about all the people uh, in parts of the world where they have no safety net, so putting our situation also in perspective with what's going on globally, because this is truly a global issue. So really, really, um, in some of the micro choices we talked about, like nutrition and like mindfulness and going out for a walk, that's really important to establish healthy habits. But then in general, think that this is an opportunity for all of us to really step into ourselves and manage ourselves in the best way possible with yeah. what we have available mm -hmm. to us right now. And uncertainty is difficult, but I, I also think it's an opportunity to thrive, you know? So choose your thoughts wisely, choose the type of content that you're putting, that you're consuming, uh, and load up on the more kind of optimistic, positive stuff, essentially, is what I would say. So that you can build up a more positive and optimistic energy within yourself. That's, because we don't know when this is gonna end, right? So we need, we need resilience. Mm -hmm. and I think positivity, which uh, you're the queen of, uh, <laughs> yeah. can take us far, essentially, yeah. I love that. Did you hear her? She said, we need resilience. Okay, we need resilience right now. Real talk. To apply this. I mean, obviously, stay updated, what you need to know. But really, you're right. Like, what you consume is what you're going to exude, you know? Right now is the time to focus on that character building, that leadership, like, really just framing yourself every day to go go and step into more of your purpose right do take this time to evaluate yourself and step into it and i love that you hit on that thank you so much sis for this information and the positive vibe you are amazing keep My up for having me okay and of course okay. Ciao. okay bye uh, stay safe you too she is just so amazing. I love, love, love her points, y'all. And if you are not following her, make sure to follow her on Instagram. You can find her information in my story. Definitely someone that you want to stay connected with. Again, she also manages and co-founded the page called Airy Wellbeing that focuses on airy uh, well-being amongst uh, black and brown communities across the globe. So definitely tune in there. Remember, she said we need resilience right now, y'all. We need that and we can do that. Let's take this time, like she said, to consume, you know, optimistic, positive information and content so we can we can really build on that, right? This is a time for us to step more into ourselves, as she said. Love her points. Love, 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 love them. So as always, I'm sending you a lot of love wherever you are in this world.